one and that nerve goes up and it innervates your brain and the research on there is that you take the pressure off of that nerve your brain's able to function better that blood brain to body pathways function better and there's good research with lowering blood, lowering blood pressure naturally with uh, adjustments number six are antioxidants you get that through the daily detox number five is taking a multi-mineral vitamin now, the witness test on vitamins are if you put the vitamin into a cup with uh, lemon juice in it and it absorbs quickly, that's your litmus test to know that it's working okay. That mimics your stomach acid. If you put the tablet in there and it does not dissolve quickly, then you know it's not going to absorb well in your body. And when you take it, your urine will change that highlighter yellowish color. That's how you know you're pretty much excreting all of it in your, um, through your urine. The only thing, only something that should ever change your urine if you're properly hydrated are D vitamins. D vitamins will always change your urine regardless of, of how good they are. But besides that, no other uh, vitamin should change your urine because it looks like you swallow a highlighter. Number four is the fish oil we touched on. Okay, making sure you're taking any fish oil. That's another step to heart disease. Number three is for those of you who have heart disease currently and are treating with a statin, coenzyme Q10. Number two, really, garlic when you're cooking, cook with garlic. Cook, cook, cook with garlic. Great for, uh, and is it great anti-inflammatory? And then the meal plan as well. So doing, doing one of the meal plans I touched on is outlined in this book. If you go to maximizeliving.com, if you go to maximizeliving.com, there's a bunch of recipes based off of the advanced or the core plans that you can uh, look into and uh, try out a lot of those recipes. And that would be the, uh, the, the first step, making sure you have the proper nutrition so you're not becoming acidic. So, lastly here, so the last part of this, anyone ever seen this person walking around? Have you seen that, you seen that guy? That nerve in the upper back runs to the heart. So the research there is that when you're here, that nerve runs to the heart, there's a 90% correlation with heart disease in that posture. And we have a round that's called kyphosis, kyphosis, when your shoulders around, they call it the humpback, if you will. That nerve up top through here, and it runs right to the heart and stops, it stops, it starts right in the top of your back. If that's happening, if you know anyone in your family that that's happening to, if you start to see yourself running like this, that's why I'm always on patients for posture, and I always check posture all the time because of not so much neck and lower back pain, it's not really what I treat, we treat subluxation and misalignment. That subluxation of the back, that, that's a 911 in my book. Anytime I see a patient who has that, it's a 911 to get them out of your hair. So if you know anyone who, who has that, have them look into their health history, if they're undiagnosed yet, there's a huge correlation with it with the heart disease um, with that type of posture. So with that being said, that was the seven steps to prevent heart disease. If you want this PowerPoint, uh, you can write down your name up front. We'll email this PowerPoint to you. I know it's a ton of info uh, to go over. Feel free to throw any questions at me. Uh, the following summons we talk, touched on tonight, there's a 10% discount on 